In this video, I'm going to be testing, is it possible to sleep in an inflatable canoe? Right, in this video, I'm challenging myself to see whether or not it's possible to sleep in my Sevelo Adventure Plus canoe. I like going out camping in my canoe and I quite often deflate the canoe once I get to site and end up reinflating something like this, a standard sort of sleeping mat. And then it kind of got me thinking, really, wouldn't it be better to just sleep in the canoe? So in this video, I want to compare the warmth and comfort of sleeping in the canoe as opposed to using a sleep pad like this. So I've got the canoe inflated and I've got my sleep mat inflated and I'm telling you, that sleep mat is looking pretty sorry in comparison. Look, it's about oh, half an inch or one centimetre, centimetre and a half at the most thick. That's it there, look. Or I could sleep on this baby. This has got about oh, four inches of air below and about six inches of air to the sides. I can't believe that I've been deflating this and opting to sleep on this. This is definitely an experiment well worth doing. So the canoe comes with three inflatable seats which are detachable. They have straps for adjusting the backrest and they're held in position by some Velcro. So what do you think? I think that make quite a good pillow. So the plan tonight will be, I'm gonna set up my three by three meter tarp between the tree and my rose arch behind me. And I'm gonna put the canoe underneath. Let's put up the tarp. Here is the canoe underneath half of the tarp. Um, I'm gonna pull the tarp over into an A-frame for tonight. And I'm gonna put my sleeping bag in now. So I'm going to have my head up this end and that looks like it's going to be easily long enough for me to fit in there. So let me jump in and have a look. This feels like luxury compared with sleeping on that flimsy little sleep pad over there. Yeah, I'm looking forward to tonight, it should be very comfortable. Well, good evening, folks. Here I am. I'm in my sleeping bag and I'm in the canoe and I'm under my tarp. This experiment works. I won't have to be taking any form of sleep mat or sleeping pad in the future because I'll elect to sleep in the canoe itself. Now, at the moment, I feel like there's plenty of room. I don't feel claustrophobic or crushed and the floor is spongy and mattress-like. It's really quite luxurious. Without further ado, I'm gonna get my head down and I'll let you know how it goes in the morning. Cheers, good night. That was really, really comfortable night's sleep. And, and that's gonna revolutionize my wild camping experience when I go out in this canoe. Well, why haven't I done that before? The canoe was very comfortable. It provided a luxuriously thick mattress to lie on and the sides kept me snug. The canoe was quiet and it didn't rustle, unlike some of my sleeping mats. However, there are two points well worth considering. First is that the length of the canoe is 3.9 meters and it was a three by three meter tarp. So it may mean that I have to set up the tarp in a diagonal in order to cover the length. And the other point is don't forget that the canoe must be dry when you put your sleeping bag in it. So this means you're gonna to have to take a towel or a sponge in order to mop up any moisture to avoid your sleeping bag getting damp. Well, that's it for this test. I think it's a really versatile canoe. I hope you find this helpful and thanks very much for watching. <laughs>